quotes. I've talked about this before. Each day I pull some quotes from Pinterest and things that inspire me. And then let me show you what I do. And I am posting them on my Facebook page periodically. So I will, and then you can share them. Um, so I would love for you to go like my Facebook page if you haven't done that already. Cause I'm trying to like, it helps me so much writing these quotes down every day. So I'm trying to share them a couple of times a week because it helps me so much that I really hope that someone that needs to see it to get motivated or feel good about themselves can find it and see it. So I hope that you'll go like my Facebook page. I'll link it down below, but Okay, I just made myself a bagel. It's just an everything bagel from um, Whole Foods. Have some water, my laptop. I'm getting ready to do the links for the NYC blog. And I got my cream cheese over here. I put it in a bag because I threw the package away the other day. Um, so yeah. Okay, you guys, I just got showered and everything. I got some editing done this morning. I'm gonna put you down. So I'm going to marinate some pork tenderloin for dinner. Um, and I'm using this book, Virginia Hospitality, because it has a recipe that I really like. If I can find it, I should probably just, there we go. Okay, so this is the recipe I like to use. You can just like screenshot it if you want. I'll hold it up for a second. It's this bottom one. I really like it because it has bourbon, soy sauce, brown sugar, and um, pork tenderloin. And then you can make like a sour cream, like um, kind of like a, it's a sour cream mayonnaise and mustard sauce for the top. But you don't, you really don't even need the sauce. It's so good if you marinate it and it's so easy. So let's see, it says, yeah, to marinate for several hours. It's like 10.45 a.m. Usually I would do it like the night before and just let it marinate for like, I don't know, 24 hours or whatever, but I'm just gonna let it marinate um, for until tonight, and then we're gonna bake it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Hey guys, okay, so I thought, it's been like a busy day. Sorry, Jay's like napping, so I'm trying to be oops, a little quiet. He sleeps more than like anyone I know. Um, but he, a lot of times on his lunch break, he'll take a nap. So I'm using the Summer Fridays jet lag mask on my lip because my lip balm is in the other room and I literally use this for everything. It works so good. Oh, sorry, I already took my ring off. I thought I would share with you how I use this RMS um, Uncover. This shade is definitely too dark for me. And my camera tends to perfect my skin, but you can see I do have like breakouts here. Honestly, my face has cleared up quite a bit. It still looks bad, but a lot of it is like just scarring or little bumps. Um, so, I know I just ran my fingers through my hair and now I'm about to put them on my face, but some people are very like, and it's really not that big of a deal. Um, my hair is clean, it's still like slightly wet. So what I do is I use my fingers. Um, I'm not doing like a full face of makeup. I've been trying to wear a lot less and I think since I started using this, my face has like been so much less irritated. Um, it was basically so clear in New York City over the weekend. And then when I was there, I started wearing my Laura Mercier foundation and I noticed that like it was just starting to get broken out again um but like I said it's really more of like a natural look it doesn't have a ton of I can use this um coverage but you can just build it up where you need it and I need to find a good brush that I can use with this but I just feel like right now my fingers work best so I wouldn't recommend this for everyday use, or if you are, I would definitely just recommend it for spot concealing. But I just want you to see that it is like very pigmented. And if you have really great skin, this would be really good for you. Um, it definitely is more oily, so I do use the powder. Um, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just cover like my spots and just kind of blend it out. Um, I'll put like, my forehead is really clear. So I'll just use like a little bit and I'll just like really kind of blend it all over to create like a really thin layer. But I'm gonna stop talking because if not, I won't be able to fast like speed this up and you'll be watching for like 10 hours. So I'm gonna stop talking. Okay, so you can see the lighting is better over here. You can see it's a little bit, I would say, too dark for my skin. And you can see that like it's not seeming to cover some of these spots very well. So what I'll do is I'll powder it, my skin, and I just use the onion to powder. I think that this, if you're going to try whoops, this, you definitely need this. Um, my opinion um whoops but I just powder my skin with this and then I'll do another layer just where I need it to try to build that up a little bit but I'm just gonna be around the house today so I really don't need it too much I really just want to let my skin breathe as much as possible I think I've been drinking a lot of alcohol too, which hasn't been helping my puffiness or my skin. And then I'm use my bare mineral. That's all I put on my skin. I just did my eyebrows and my mascara. And for me, I feel like this is like a very no makeup makeup look. I mean, obviously the brows are pretty fierce because I haven't ever managed to like do my brows to the point where like they're not overdone um and i would put on my dior little lip glow but it's not in here so i'm gonna grab something else the other thing i wanted to mention was this i've never heard of but i'll find it online and i'll link it down below this is a texture and finish spray so i bought the or big dry texturizing spray which i really love and it also has this really fun packaging which apparently just peels off which is pretty lame um for the holidays or something like that but the guy at barney's in new york sold this to me and i think this might top that it's really good and it smells like really really good um yeah it does a lot for your hair a lot so just for reference this is my hair with just a little bit of this and the Briogeo um, shampoo for like oilier hair and conditioner. I'll link that down below. You guys, I did not blow dry my hair. It's like, and it has a volume, which to me is just, it's just crazy. Like, let's see. It happens when we, yeah, so it's like a finishing and curling spray or texturizing and finishing spray but I just can't like I mean for everyday hair like I didn't even have to blow dry it so then it's like heat free hairstyle <laughs> and I really love it I do have very straight hair obviously this is how it dries naturally I think it has this bend because I had it tucked like this well but I mean you guys I think that's so good Quim, are you ready to put lights on the Christmas tree? I think we're gonna light it up. Why? We had to rearrange like half, whoops, we had to rearrange like half the house so we could put the big tree here. So, in here we rearranged a little bit of the furniture and put our dining table in here because <laughs> it was in here. Quim, we rearranged this room 
We don't have a lot of furniture. We're really lacking in the furniture department. 2019 goals, because half of this is my mom's. Okay, and then we put the other tree in here. Yeah, it looks so pretty. Yay. Okay, we've gotten we've gotten a few lights on, as you can see. It's taken a really long time, <laughs> but it's okay. <clears throat> we'll get there, I guess, you know. We'll get there. You need a lot of <laughs> Are you so cute? Look how cute you are. <laughs> Your little back leg's falling off. Is that not your size? Forgot to mention that I put, whoops, the pork tenderloin in the oven. And we have some potatoes, some salt, pepper, olive oil, and I might put some rosemary in there. I'm just gonna mix them up in a bag and pour them on a pan. Graham. Christmas vacation. Time number two. Is this only the second time? I feel like we've yeah, watched and like. I don't feel like we watched all the way through. The yeah, like yeah, because I wonder. I mean, I feel like somebody probably fell asleep. Also, we've had the lights blow twice. We're but Jay's on the case. He knows what's happening. Diesel's on oh, Granny yeah. watch. So my dad's out of town again. Alrighty. How many strands of lights have we used? Mm. To get this far. 12 or 15. 12 or 15. Whoa! That's a lot! No, I would say like 10. No, uh-uh. 12? We had, we had 10 when we had already done a couple strands. Oh. No, yeah. we had 12 when we had already done a couple strands. Because I've heard We've been working hard on this, Gwim. You've not been working very hard, though. <laughs> he looks beautiful. We're definitely not going to finish her tonight because we ran out of lights, but at least we'll know for tomorrow. Say good night, Diesel. <laughs> Don't hide your face. We're finishing the night out. With Beverly Hills Cop 3. <laughs> I'm like, good night. Good night. <laughs>